So welcome, to, I'm your Stella, so today I'm gonna show you the new shards and uh, the new card, new champions for uh, Legend of Runeterra with the patch, so as you know the new champions, one of them that is the best card is Irelia, can show, she doesn't appear because I'm uh, this, because they don't know how to take out immunities because we need to press, like come on, so as you can see I don't have it but I can buy it if I want, like you can receive for free and it's like wasting time to bite so like Irelia has quick attack so when I'm summer of run when I'm summer or run start if you have the attack token create a flawless uh, duet in hand if you want to see the card you can search it you can see the artwork of her using her uh, uh, blades around her and defeating every enemy as you can see then she evolves and goes for uh, still is a quick attack and then when I'm summer or run start, if you have attack token, create a flawless duet in hand. When Alice attack, create a blade surge. That's why I say this card, uh, the Irelia is going to be a card that uh, a lot of players will play with her. Depends then to know what uh, deck is better with her, like what, which uh, region is better with her. Because Ionia, nobody plays with uh, Ionia region because they suck. Like only with uh, Lee Sin, but it's rare to see it. <coughs> But now maybe we're gonna see a lot of Irelia because like in terms of what she creates and her spells like I can show in here like Flowers Duet, Play Dance 2, like the keywords and uh, like Blaze Surge you can swap Irelia in middle of combat so instead of her die you can switch with her so it's amazing the cards that she has, the spells right they are very good so that's why I say she's gonna be played she has a, a lot of ways to be played and then that work of her so it's like very good like in terms of Irelia, Irelia from League of Legends she doesn't have nothing like in terms of face like that but the way that that work like the blades around her is what makes her bad so then we have uh, Zillion Zillion oops Zillion he's a card, he's a true card like uh, Nothing equal to uh, League of Legends Zillion is like, come on, because you have to say it's not safe. it's not Riot that makes the cards, it's a outside company that makes them, so that's why sometimes there's some problems with the the face of the characters that some, like Talia, people criticize like that, I don't understand why people criticize something like that, well, so Zillion for Shrima, uh, play, cr create four type bombs in your deck, then predict, I've seen you destroy two allied with allied type bombs, so easy easy to evolve him. And then and you can see the artwork in here. As you can see, nothing in terms of if you play League of Legends, nothing equal to Zillion. And then we have his evol evolution. Hound start create a fleeting copy of each non-fleeting card I saw you play last round, so meaning that can be very good in terms of that. And play create four time bombs in your deck and then predict because like you create four time bombs then predict can appear there the bo time bomb you can use it then he has his chrono shift give an ally champion the next time i will die this round fully heal me and grant me plus three plus three instead very good and the time bomb that is a landmark it's not a spell when I summon, draw one and advance other ally time bombs one round. Cut down one, deal one to enemies and next. That's why I say that can be good. That's why I say that we maybe gonna see Zillion being played. Maybe not being the best deck, of course. But we're gonna see like uh, in terms of um, those decks that uh, are kind of aggressive. Maybe we're gonna see that because the time, the cost of cut down is only two. Uh, the it's like the the countdown is not big, so it's easy to spot and those one damage to every enemy and next. So and that's what you want in terms of uh, aggressive decks. Is that easy to play and do immediate damage to next and enemies. So that's why I say maybe we're gonna see him being played. I forgot to was show the artwork in here. So in here is almost the same as Zillion in League of Legends. And then we have the last one that is Malfit. Malfit. I have to write it like this. But put. So as I as you know, he's not from Targon. He's from other region. But the problem, like I said, uh, Riot never create another champion that is from the region of Malfit. So they say, okay, 
just put him on Targon because the, it's kind of useless creating a region only for one champion it will be super bad so they put on Targon say okay he's from there so it's like that but uh, like if you uh, play Leo Fage and read the lore of Malfit, is the, it, it says his own region that it is. The problem was everyone saying, how are they gonna do for Malfit? That was the question. And at the same time, I think the developers were like, at the same time, uh, how are we gonna do for him the, in terms of region? And they reached to, okay, let's put on Targon, that will be easier. So Malfit, a cost of 7, that I said it's too hard to play him, but at the same time he has Toph and 10 health, so hard to kill him at the same time. The problem, why he's not going to be played, the problem is you have summoned 12 plus mana of landmarks. Landmarks, like in the beginning when they came out, they were like one that was, uh, that was called Grand Plaza was very good. Then came out the Veal, that was with uh, a few that was powerful, but then every landmark is crap. Nobody plays almost no landmarks only with Lissandra. So it's gonna be hard to see him being played because you have some 12 plus mana of landmarks in meaning that you need to play a lot of landmarks. When I level up, if you create you if you have attack dog create an unstoppable force in ends. So you can see that work, as you can see like Irelia in I think no, I think this is not Irelia, I think this is what? Who is this? Is someone random or is some champion? I don't know. But uh, as you can see, very good, like Malfit, a big rock, how it is, nicely done. Then he evolves, he has Toff yet, 11, el uh, 11 elf, super hard to kill him. When I assume off round start, if you have attack to create and solve force in end, so nothing special when he evolves. And here it is when he evolves, smashing the ground, boof. And here is the Malfit Grand Slam, that stun a unit, deal free to it if you are summon a landmark this game. There is a problem, you need to summon to do the uh, deal free damage if you summon to do this, that's the problem. And the Unstoppable Force, that stun all enemies, that's a thumbs up, that's very uh, good spell. Maybe instead of seeing Malfit being played, we're gonna see this spell being played because it's always a good uh, spell, right? To stun all enemies, it's good. Yes, it's a slow spell, but it's awesome. <laughs> I have to say it. Okay, so these are the new champions that came out with this patch. So now for the challenge. So the challenge is to t teach the blade, uh, the how it's called, the keyword. I forgot how it's called, but it's about the Irelia. And uh, about the combination that you can do with uh, the landmarks. That's what they want to explain because they want people to play like in terms of Zillion because it's landmark of Time Bomb and with Malfit. So let's start here with Deadly Grace of Irelia. Okay, here you go. Blade Death lets you summon attacking blades which can unlock powerful combos. So only to show because it, there is two new challenge. Because sometimes they add challenge when certain champions come because they bring certain new keywords and you want that. So blade dance. Play now. Here we go. So blade dance one. Blade dance summons a wave of attacking blades which can enable powerful combs. Use them to win these rounds. Okay, so maybe they want me to play this. This. And then this. May my steps and my heart be there. Because when, as you can see, he's attacking. But you don't forget that that's a free attack. Doesn't doesn't uh, take out your attack token. So now we can attack again. And that's why. Victor, because now this will attack in there, that's so that they don't show. Perform your deadly blade dance, because now it's going to show. But it's like that, it's, you have a free attack with that, keywords. And that's why I say you're really going to be very good. Because you have like, you can do two attacks, and even on enemy turn, if you lose it, you can attack on enemy turn. You don't need to have the attack token, so that's why you're going to do more and more damage. So maybe a combination with work will be like, uh, Sejuani because to evolve uh, more. Uh, maybe with uh, Swain uh, too. So can be very good. 
a lot of combinations, right? But then it depends on the charms. Certain charms are kind of weak for now, so that's why. So, Blade Dance 2, an agile where you can adapt to any foe, combine blades and alley swapping effects to win this round. Okay, so they want us to learn to swap alleys. So we need to play this. In here, Blade, Blade Dance 2, so let me see. Do this. So we summon this. We got a defense. We can attack, there's no problem. They will never kill this, right? So now, like, why we have to... Uh, cool? No, I couldn't attack or cool. No, because they sh that's slow. Why have to swaps? Because now I will attack. I will swap, pick an alley. Like this. But I can't kill. Because there is something missing, so I did something wrong in there. Because like this type of uh, challenge, come out to a place after the enemy blocks to ensure you damage the net as much as possible. It's like one of the issues of this tutorial, like this challenge, they don't explain very well. That's one of the problems. That's one of the problems of this, that they don't explain correctly. There is like so an issue with them, like trying to explain. Because, like, you want to play this. Right, okay. Because this slow. Because, let me see, if I would attack 3, 4, I will switch 3, and this is only 1. I will never do damage. Because I can do this, and I cannot play in, uh, now this when I go to attack. Because, uh, like, I could do this attack. Line around me. Right, he goes to attack me, to defend, of course. Switch. But what is the. what they want me to do in here? Like, I can't kill. Me obliterate me when I leave combat. What? Because you have to maybe okay. So maybe see why like. Uh, okay, I understand. Like, uh, but the problem is they don't explain that you can switch with this in here. The problem of that card is like swap swap Alice. You know, you think it's on battle. There is a problem like sort of times in every game or card games there is sometimes like in terms of text they don't explain very well but like they should say that you can swap with everything like uh, that or on bait or in here they don't explain that you see that's a, huge, a big issue of card games in terms of text because they, they have to fix that text but I understand, it's like, it's like they release and then they have to upgrade, like, update the text some certain times. Ish. Another, another combination that can work can be with uh, Darius, because Darius needs to be less than 10 health to evolve him. So, and she's super fast to attack, to do damage, so another combination can be with Darius. So, that can be good. So, the Noxian Wire Machine cannot be allowed to succeed. Mm -hmm. Use your Blade Dancers to defeat your enemy this round. Okay. So, she, they have 20 health. Jesus. Okay. Let me see. When you Blade Dance, I attack with the blades. Play Blade Dance. Okay. I pl I, so, I need to play them, right? And it's an elusive. So I want to play this first. Okay. Because he is elusive, they don't attack. Yeah. Now, I want to do this.
Because this is getting powerful. Now we play this. Hmm. Because this when goes when lead combat obliterate means that disappears. So we don't want that. So now I attack. Again, doing the damage. And now I attack with this shoe. And it, it's that. Of course, there appears this always. You can see the evolution of her. Of course, I don't need to attack with her. <laughs> because see, one of the big issues of, uh, of the game is the elusive. Because, like, nobody can block elusives. Or you have a spell, or you are from the match that you can uh, trade attacks, or you have a challenge, or you have the challenger to go to them. But when you are blocking, it's only spells. That's what a big issue of the game, elusives. You saw how this can work for Irelia. Always summoning the, the blades, and this increasing, always damage. It's okay, only has one health, okay, but it's ridiculous. That's a big issue why they like, uh, in terms of uh, elusive, they have to do some work Our always. Are safe once more. But yeah, as you can see, like in terms of the, car the followers of Irelia like that, and even her, it's easy to evolve. It's not hard to evolve, nothing like that. It's easy to evolve and easy to understand how it works, all the spells. That's why I say it's going to be one of... Like, maybe not on t top tier 1, maybe, but maybe top tier 2, she will be... Um, it depends then, of course, how the what decks you can create, because, like, uh, Darius could use, he, use her to be fast to evolve. Sejuani at the same time, because doing a lot of damage, gameplay too, uh, so that's why. Now for the landmark, speed things up, learn how to harness time itself as you expedite your countdown landmarks and bring ring to your enemies. So like a, a, learning the combinations of landmarks is how it is. Of course nobody plays landmarks. So as you can see, immediate advance is not uh, bad for beginners, not like that. You need to understand how landmarks work. Advance allows you to manipulate countdown landmarks to activate them sooner than expect. Use that knowledge to win this round. So I like uh, advance an ally landmark by free, so you need to play this first. The countdown is free, and then you play this. Advance an ally, you choose what you want to advance the time. And like that, you have the combination. Easy. So that card can be good for uh, the time bombs. Instead of waiting, I think it's two turns that you have to wait. The time bombs, it's, you play that and boom, explode easily. And like that, you can then evolve easily the. Uh, how it's called? Zillion. Jesus. I don't know if this car will be good uh, because it's only free that advance. And uh, for Zir, for Renekt, or Nasus to go to level 3, the Sunburn disc is 25 count down. So it will be, it will like. Uh, be bad because you will need like uh, at least two of these landmarks to at least count down to uh, reduce to uh, less than six seconds so it's like uh, that's a problem advancing landmarks means keeping their benefits much faster than usual yeah but i would love to see riot doing something in terms of sunburn disc to see azir renekton and us pl being played and being worth to go to level three because not seeing the level 3 of those two is like why you created level 3 if nobody plays, plays them or the landmarks that landmark that they need you know what I'm saying? it's like kind of shame so some cards can advance multiple landmarks at once use these to win the rounds so when I should draw one cut out draw two So this goes, take out this, create a handle landmark with countdown in hand, 
or advance one landmark so you want to play this again right because get one of those so we need to win these only those when I assume to draw one countdown so now with this create a landmark with countdown in end or advance one advance your landmarks one round advance your landmarks one round you do that it's getting so do again no no now we play this and now I do this advance and because this gives to uh, 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 that uh, characters that we summon as you can see when summon another ally give uh, plus uh, plus sure plus zero this round so that's why I, I, you need to play this always first and then we attack easy to understand how you do you have make good time yeah, but as you can see, it's like yes, they is like you. They did this to try to make people. Oh, now you can advance time with certain cards, certain cards, right? You can uh, make it pass faster the time. But it's like it's not worth. That's the problem. It's not worth because you go in here. Uh, so you go for here and uh, like sun burn disc. Maybe it's wrong. Right, damn it! I don't for uh, don't remember how you write this because nobody cares about this card. That's the problem. Where it is, Shurima? It's better to go like this. Mm, where it is? I have it, but uh, a burn sun disc is how it called. But as you can see, it's like. Uh, Start game, draw one of me, if you all cards are sure you count down 25. See, it's like, when I ascend all, all levels, advance me 10 rounds, so it will be like 215, count down. Those that they explained, it, it's like, only one countdown, those that was the level 2, only one countdown that will decrease, the other was free. Like, when I ascend all levels, up, advance me 10 rounds, like, uh, it's not very good, right, you see, it, uh, it's not very good, because you need to reach this to reach to 25 to evolve to this, and then you're all, you're a zero or an Ecton, or a, and as you go to level 3, I think they need to do something to these cards, to this landmark, because yes, those decrease the time, but it's not enough to be fast for this to evolve to this. That's the problem. I think they need to create a spell that makes to the, uh, like a, can be expensive spell like a eight costs that will decrease uh, the times for uh, yes people will be abuse but I think they could say that it only used only works for this this landmark like that it will be worth to people to play this card on that spell and to play with Azir or Renekton or Nash to go to try to go to level 3 because for now nobody plays this because it's not worth and nobody plays nobody plays nobody tries to go to level 3 of Azir like that because it's not it's not worth because the games take too much time it doesn't take too much time to end so that's the issue but yeah these are the cards so if you Play Lies Rohrum Terra, you can now already go and um, try to f to find some good decks that can work for the new cards, try out, do the always do the challenge to understand better. In my opinion, the best card of these three is Irelia, Zillion and Malfit, because Irelia is easy to level up and it's gonna be strong. Zillion it's gonna it's easy to, to evolve. Uh, but it's more for the aggressive decks and Malfit, it's hard to evolve him because it's around mana of landmarks that you use it but it's like it costs 7 like that and nobody plays with landmarks so like you can now go and if you don't play Legend of Terra, you play with your flash and you want to try out you can download it I read Legend of Terra. it's like you don't need to pay for nothing it's free the game the cards you can see for free because in uh, where it is in your regions, right? 
You can change the region and you receive cards for free. Uh, you receive uh, these crystals to uh, to buy cards. You receive uh, uh, wall cards. There is the common, the the blue, the purple, and the orange. That is uh, the orange is for champions to unlock. You receive for free. Uh, doing uh, you have always missions to do. Uh, you have always missions to do. You receive a lot of. If you like to play hunk, you can play. You receive always experience, so it doesn't cost nothing. So hope you guys enjoy here some the new challenge and uh, the new cards. And see you guys in two weeks. It's when another patch will come. So hope you guys enjoy and see you guys next time.